two, one. All right, everybody. Welcome. This is Coffee with Chief, and I have another treat for you. I have one of my brothers, one of my uh, good friends and uh, fellow uh, martial artists with us today. And he's already known worldwide, so there's really no introduction. But I want everyone to say hello to my good friend, Tuhan Shifu Kanishka from India. Hey, Tuhan. Hello. <laughs> you know, uh, Kanishka is a, a dear friend of mine. You know, he visited me in the U.S. a uh, couple years ago. But And there's a lot of people that know of him and follow him because this guy is a world-renowned martial artist, you know, and, and just an overall good guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I always uh, uh, tease him, but I, I truly do believe that he is legendary in his uh, in, in the martial arts world. So, <laughs> don't, no. say that. don't do that. <laughs> but uh, I want to uh, uh, give the audience an opportunity to to enjoy the coffee, you know, with us. And 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 for those of you that don't know him, we'll get to know him a little bit more. I will ask some questions. But the most exciting part for me is that I'm going to share some videos of uh, Tuhan um, and kind of show you what, what he does for, for uh, martial arts and, uh, and people around the world. And I got to tell everyone, Tuhan has a lot of videos out there. Okay. So I had to pick a few late ones, uh, some older ones, and then there'll be a few treats here that I'm going to show Tuhan and he's probably going to like it. And, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it, but, Tuhan, just tell us a little bit about who you are, uh, what do you practice, where you are, and and how are things? Well, uh, as I said that, uh, you know, I started training martial arts uh, when I was uh, six years old. I was pretty young, and uh, so I, I my first martial arts was karate. <clears throat> I did for five years, and after that, I did uh, Iranian-style uh, kung fu. It's very famous in the Middle East. Also in Europe, it's called kung fu tua. And my uh -huh. teacher was Wahid Ali. Yeah, he was from Afghanistan. Uh, but, you know, since childhood, I had only wanted to do Kung Fu and not Karate. So I never connected with Karate. No disrespect to Karate. But it was my first martial arts. But, you know, there is a soul connection to something. I had watched Kung Fu films. I have, like, strived on them. So that was something which I just wanted to do. And specifically Shaolin Kung Fu. I wanted to go to the temple and be a Shaolin warrior. So nonetheless, I did martial arts for 11 years in India. And uh, then after my father's death, I just left for Shaolin Temple. So I spent quite a lot of time there training in Shaolin Kung Fu and uh, I became the first Indian who got trained there and accredited as a Shifu there. Then uh, not many people know, but I, I trained uh, very intensively in Taiwan with the nephew of Ip Man. His name is Loman Kam. Okay, and he was the in charge of the Taiwan SWAT commando training team. So he trained me into the art, uh, which is called police kung fu, which is primarily combat Wing Chun, blended with uh, chinna and uh, takedowns. So I got this system in India and I introduced it into the police because I wanted to train. So that's how since 2004, uh, I started training the, I went into law enforcement training. It was during the same time I met my Sifu, uh, Sita Wong. And uh, he, he's, he's one of the major influence in my life. Who I am today is because of that man, primarily. The way I, I use my combat skills and stuff is because his system was called 3E. Currently, it's known as 5E. Okay. So it was the easy, effective, and economical way of fighting. Today, he also adds two more E's, which is evolving and eternal. So since he was a master of combat Tai Chi, uh, Jeet Kune Do and Southern Shaolin 18 Lohan. So he has his own blended method of that. So that's why my Jeet Kune Do has a lot of influence when it comes to close quarter of Tai Chi grappling and wrestling, which is very seldom seen and very rare to people because they have not seen and people only see Tai Chi as a method of, you know, relaxation and stuff. So he was the one who introduced me into JKD Kali in 2004. And I kept training that till I went to Philippines to learn Piki Tertia, 2007, eight. And then, you know, it's been a journey. And uh, during the last six years, I picked up San Miguel Escrima and Balintawak. 
and uh, another system called Baro Sugbo from Philippines. These three, so, so I majorly I'm doing five Filipino martial arts systems. Wow, wow. You know, if you write all those down, what you just blurted off. Now, uh, Tuhan, let me ask you, how old are you? I'm 44. 44. And just write down everything you've just mentioned. It's, it's here. <laughs> uh, I mean, you put all of that down and then just divide it by your age. And you will see probably about a hundred, hundred years worth of, uh, of uh, knowledge in, in, in a single man like yourself. I mean, no, but uh, uh, brother, I, I, the most important thing, which I want to answer this question, which you asked me is, uh, I discarded a lot of system because you know that I love Bruce Lee and that the thing, you know, accept what is good, reject what is useless, always add something of your own. So I had to discard uh, karate, kung fu tua, and a lot of other systems. And I came up with my own system, Shifu Kanishka Combatives, SKC. Uh, basically, I, uh, I took this terminology from two people. Uh, one is uh, Sigung Paul Vonak, because like you know that I'm also official representative of Paul Vonak in India yeah. for the contemporary Kundu and RAT. So he calls it Dirty MMA. And I find it the name very apt because, uh, you know, like Dumpag and stuff is very dirty and tricky and stuff. And his yeah. method is also an exactly on asymmetrical violence. So uh, SKC is something which I promote now. And uh, I have created a, my system. It takes five years now to complete my system. So it has everything in that. And I, I created a sort of a drill, Jesse, in which I start with uh, long range and then I enter into, uh, you know, Samrada, which you also practice, a lot of people practice. Then I flow to Pikiti, then I go to San Miguel and I finish with Balintawak because it's close quarter. But you need to know these systems to be able to blend it together. Yeah, no, uh, that sounds really interesting. I love that. Uh, uh, I do like blending systems. Uh, well, I should say, I like what you do. How about that? You know, because I see you, there's a lot of videos of you. I follow you. Uh, you know, there's, you know. there, there's a thing that a lot of people say that, uh, you know, like even Krav Maga is a blend and stuff, but there is a difference. What I feel is what you do or I do. A lot of other people do is like, I have never, like people ask me, you also blend system. I said, no, there is a difference. The way they blend system and the way I blend system, because I don't pick things from periphery. I have studied each system in detail and that's why I know I don't just do like I copy this thing, you know? Yeah. When I yeah. blend, there is a full system which I have. Yeah. And I no, understand yeah. that then I blend it. I don't blend it just by picking up things like that. Yeah. No, I think that's the difference between uh, your skill set and, 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 and some is that you, you dive in in every single martial arts that you mentioned earlier and, and get everything you can out of it so you can inherently make it your own as you said and and the way you and you know i love pakiti but the way you've blended everything together yeah, it just flows so well man i love it you know, if, if not for grand to horn i mean when i am nothing you know i am because of that man you know he has really taught me like he has a special relationship with you and every one of us feels the same way but i i think that he truly treated me like a son. He, he yeah. never called me by my name. He, yeah. he always called me by two names, either Taj, because Taj Mahal is in India. Yeah. <laughs> or, he called me, or, he, or he would just call me son. So yeah. it's very emotional relationship with him. And yeah. he never hid anything from me as far as uh, training is concerned. Like it's never, you know, the people ask me like, how do you know this? Why do you know this? You know, I have no answers to that. But uh, PTK, Jesse, like you know that my first teacher was Romel. Yeah, yeah. Started yeah. with Romel. Yeah. And not many people know that. Uh, Tuhan uh, Jasper is a very good friend of mine also. And we yeah. used to meet in Manila. And we used to exchange. You know, Jasper used to teach me a lot of PTK. And uh, he loved, not many people, I'm telling you, don't know this. He loved the way I used to trap and do Jeet Kundo. So we exchanged a lot. So Jasper yeah. gave me a lot. 
and uh, Grant Tuhon, of course. And then you know, I have huge regard for Tuhon Philip. That man, you know, he's like a walking encyclopedia. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the people who are source for me. You know. Yeah. These are yeah. The people I look up to, and not to forget the guy I have never trained with. but has always treated with me me with so much love and affection we have huge uh, mutual respect and love and i always call him kuya is tuhon mek yeah 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 he's, he's yeah. my brother you know, yeah. i came there and he always was like you know you're my brother and you know anything happen kanishka let me know i've never trained with him but these are the people i want to mention and jay butterclan so that's for me you know i'm telling you i just want to give my gratitude to them No, that's that. That's so. That's great of you. I mean, you always do that, though. You always praise the teachers and the kuyas and everybody that uh, uh, we've been blessed with to train with. So I love that. And uh, uh, last but not the least, as far as America is concerned, uh, in my life I owe a big time to you, to Hanjasi. Oh me? Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Because the thing is, of course, you know, like. A lot of people call me, but you actually called me. You opened the door of US for me, you know, and I I will never forget that in my life. Yeah. Oh man, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. the The pleasure was mine. I was uh, it was a real treat for me and everyone that's around me to train with you and listen to you and and just hang out with you. I mean, that was one of the best times of my life. I mean, and and when this is all over, you're gonna come back, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm so, planning. I hopefully with the you know Mark is planning me back, and I don't think he was saying uh, September or August. That's what we are looking for. I hope things settle down here. Yeah, that's what he said. He reached out to me as soon as uh, he he yeah. talked to you, and I said, "Yeah, whatever we can do to make it happen for sure." Just like yeah. we did the last time, we'll coordinate, yeah. and then you know yeah. we'll we'll get that taken care of. This time, you're going up to the cabin, so you can see what it is. Oh, of course, I missed last time. Was not well, but. I want to yeah. shoot that archery. <laughs> we'll shoot archery, guns, whatever you want to do, man. We'll yeah, I'm gonna pick up a. I'm gonna pick up a course with you on. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, for sure, yeah. But uh, you know, speaking of Paul Vunek, I reached out to him for an interview, and we're trying to work out details so I can talk to him and 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 yeah. do an interview with him. Um, I talked to Tuhan Mick, as you can tell, and you saw. Yeah. uh we uh, i talked to tuhan j bataklan uh i talked yeah. to tuhan bob rodriguez as well yeah. uh and i'm not sure you know him but sifu singh jit kundu yeah. athletic association i just re- i just interviewed him a couple of days ago and that that man is amazing he is amazing he he uh is obviously uh he's very well you know he's skilled but Yeah, that guy has got a lot of knowledge and and wisdom that he shared with us, and that guy was phenomenal. So, but you know, but let's talk about more of you, man. I, I you know, I want people to know that 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 I regard you as one of the the world's best martial artists. You know, uh, I, I truly do. <laughs> I always say that because I'm always I'm always impressed by you and how you you know uh, your training program. your uh, uh gurukul you know your school is is wonderful you know a lot of great people say it's a wonderful place and i would love to visit uh you yeah. know uh, someday you know and train with you guys and and yeah, yeah. you ditched you ditched me last time oh i know right i know my gosh uh, and i will regret it for the rest of my life i'm telling you no I no will. you have to come back it's I very will. simple no regrets <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh you know just a little bit that uh uh we've hung out you know when you came to the US and then we were in the Philippines I got to yeah. know you and I consider you a brother you know I consider yeah. you a really good friend and uh you know I am so proud to know someone like you you know uh, I I consider you like the modern day uh uh martial artist the 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 guy that should be in front uh, of of the screen in front of the you know uh the the stage all the time because you are so skilled all those martial arts i mean those the certain things that you said though really resonate you said kung fu you know i love kung fu right uh yeah. 
you said uh, China. You know, I love yeah. China. One of the first things that I played around with, you know, and yeah. you said Wing Chun. You know, we yeah. we touch hands a little bit in Philippines. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I love it. You know, uh, and then of course you say Jeet Kune Do. You know, I, I'm not a practitioner of Jeet Kune Do, but I love Jeet Kune Do. You know. Um, in fact, I just bought the new uh, edition for the Dao of Jeet Kune Do, uh, the hardcover. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I can't wait to get that and read what extra stuff is in there because I have the original paperback copy. Yeah. Uh, but, and, and one of the things that's near and dear to my heart that you, you practice and you, I think most people know you of that is Pikiti Tarsha, you know. And and you you know so much about Pikiti, you know uh, the different systems and subsystems, you know, and then especially your your specialty of Pikiti Linog, you know, <laughs> not just, just Dumog Linog. Just, yeah, just the name by GT, like you have Kali Rungan, you know. So I just asked, you know, that I, I think he was in India, and I was asking him about the history of Majapahit and a lot of other, you know. Uh, and he was talking about Edgar Solite and a lot of people, you know, he told how he helped them to being in America, you know. I think there's not a single Kali practitioner GT has not taught. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. Even, even I, I spoke to Stephen Paul, Paul Wunak. I was with him. I said, I'm a student of uh, your guy. He said, that guy is crazy. You used to come <laughs> to dance academy and stuff. You know, every single guy. I uh, uh, like uh, uh, Guru Rick Fay. I like I spoke to these guys. You know they know me, and then they, you know, they were always like, "Man, Leo guy was a tough guy and stuff." So you know we are very proud of our teacher. You know there's not a single yeah. guy in Kali who can. You know I always say Jesse, you can ignore him. You know, you can hate him, you can love him, but you cannot deny this guy. That's right. That's absolutely you right. Deny yeah. You know, people can hate him, love him, but you cannot deny this man. That's correct. Yeah. And I think me and you both feel the same way about Grand Tuhan. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, and I think we, sometimes he's like, he's not the right platform, but though he's, he's, he's an emotional man. He's sometimes also misjudged. And I, you know, I firmly believe that people should restrain from writing on public forums badly about him because he's an 82 year old man. And should be respected and regarded for that. And even though he's wrong sometimes, I'm saying it openly, you should learn to ignore, treat him just like your own grandfather, you know. It's okay. Old people say a lot of things. Yeah. No, but you're right. If not, if not for him, there would not be Jesse, me, no one. No one. All these big guys, no Bill McGrath, no Philip Gelinas, no one would be here. If not for this guy. Oh, I appreciate you saying that, man, because, you know, me, we, me and you talked a lot about this and and we regard Grant Tuan as our father. And, you know, we have a lot of respect for him. And you are absolutely right. You cannot deny the great things and the gift that he's given to the world. So, yeah. you know, and then and we just leave it at that because, you know, I, yeah. we all think he's a great man. I think he's a great man. Yeah. And the valuable things that he's given to all of us, we would be nothing yeah. without him. So, yeah, that's and and I agree with you though. You know, you don't need to publicly bash him. You know, because yeah. again, uh, as martial artists, we have respect, discipline. You know, and we give that, not take it. So, um, you know, bro, we, we aren't we aren't any saints. Neither you nor me nor anyone. We all have our dark shades. You know, that's right. And yeah. So does that guy has. You know. Yeah. If, if if there is something wrong, you know, he's emotional and he types on the Facebook, you give him that space. He's 82 years old, man, you know. It's okay. <laughs> and I know yeah. he's going to kill me when I say 82 year old man. <laughs> he's going to beat me with that. You know, he's going to be seven, you know. He, you know he, but you know that guy is different when he holds the blade and the stick. Oh, yeah. Can, do you remember that time when uh, you, me, uh, a lot of people in Philippines and then GT was pissed and then he bashed me up and then blah and the last one were you and then you ultimately like go ahead GT this is my hand <laughs> keep hitting it <laughs> I'll take it it's okay <laughs> take your hanger out <laughs> I remember that it was me yeah. you Adi and Ted Jam and Jam Jam 
Yeah. Jam Jam was there. Yeah. Every single Harold was also there. He was beating every guy who was coming in front of him. You know, and you will seldom see a person of that age with that much of ferocity. Yeah. 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 For sure. And skill set, you know, not to deny that, you know, it's um, Yeah. It's for me it's it's one of the most dangerous systems when it comes to blades, Jesse. I started other FMA system. When it comes to blades and knives, man, PTK is something else. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's near and dear to my heart. But yeah. speaking of one of the things that you do, I want to share something right now, right away, because, man, I'm dying to – I watch these clips over and over again because I want to pick up something every time I watch you, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm going to – Hey, Jesus Maybe. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This makes me emotional. I love this part right here. This is one of the best parts of this entire video. You know? Bam, right there. Right there. The olden days kettlebells. Yeah. Oh, stairwalks. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is old video here. Yeah. This is the house of the abbot of Shaolin Temple. It's his courtyard where I'm training. That's why he used to cook rice, you know? That was a cooking stuff. <laughs> outside, yeah. This is the- Oh, house. look at that. That outside crescent kick. That's beautiful. And that's the house of the abbot where he stays and meets people. Shaolin. You know, in India, you know, that is something I feel that I created a history. I introduced GT to the abbot of Shaolin. Yeah, I remember, remember that. I, I remember that. And that, that, was, that was beautiful, man. I mean, wow. It's, I'm telling you, some of the stuff that you have done uh, is just, I'm telling you, amazing. And uh, speaking of amazing, I got so many clips of you, man. I, I got I to gotta do it again. I gotta do one more, all right? I gotta do it again. <laughs> Here we <you> go. <laughs> Just because. No, I forgot this clip, okay. Classic move right there. Love Bali. that. Yep. Bali Bali. Yep. That's it. <laughs> That's GT's classic. <laughs> yep, that is. Uh, look at uh, Tuhan Jeet there. He's getting all of it. Uh, this guy is lucky. Tuhan Jitu, you know? He yeah. Is... I mean... Because, you know, I, I tell him, I said, Jitu, you're so lucky. Every time I have to do a webinar, I need you. And for that, I have to teach you everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, yeah, no, it's it. I love it. You know, uh, the, the interaction between you and him and, and, you know, it's just wonderful. It's a beautiful relationship with a lot of trust. You know, it's, it's not fake between me and Jitu. You know, it's, I always tell him, I said, Jitu, one day you're going to become you know, it's like an old school saying, you know, I said, you'll become a successor for me because you're the only one I have given and I am still giving. But yeah. I keep pulling his leg. I said, 
but don't ever think you'll come close to me because the moment you'll come here i will learn something else yeah leave <laughs> you know, the gap open for you <laughs> oh yeah that's a wonderful relationship man i mean i've got so many videos of you and not only on youtube but the personal videos i've taken of you in the philippines yeah. and chicago and and you know and other you know training places we've had been together and the library of you doing all this stuff is just great i mean you've got let's see you have currently about 120,000 subscribers to your youtube channel alone uh, that's just one channel because you have several channels uh that's phenomenal i mean uh, without a doubt you are known worldwide i mean that's no joke <laughs> you know so Whatever, whatever it is that you do, man, people listen and watch because uh, you show and you don't hide it. You show skill, uh, you, you show your speed, your power, you, uh, you know, uh, your hands, your legs, your stick, your blade, your knife there, you know, like you said, man, we can't deny you, <laughs> not just Grant Tuan, you there, brother, no. we can't deny you. No, bro. I, th I think, bro, you know, the, this feel is uh, something of mutual respect to each other. All of us uh, has our own skills, like you mentioned, Singh, you know, Harinder Singh. He was Paul Vunak's, you know, student and uh, we, we uh, interacted a long time back a little bit on Facebook with each other, just know each other by name and stuff. And so as other, you have your own skills. Tuhan Mick has his own skills. Everybody, you know, everybody has their own skills. I have my own method of doing the same. We have the same destination, but the paths are different. That's it. Yeah. It's just yeah, my man. approach of doing that. You know, because uh, what works for someone, like, might not work for me. But you cannot deny that technique. Maybe you can pull that technique off and I cannot. Like, yeah. for example, I always say, like, if a guy is your height, I can't pull off Bali Hong for Mali. Because I can't reach the neck. It's very simple. Yeah. So that does not yeah. mean Baliang Pumari doesn't work. Right, right. So, you have so, to bring out a different system to do, you know, complete your mission. System or whatever, you know, it has to be. Uh, I don't believe, like I said, that uh, my, my, I'm very influenced by my teacher, Sita Wong. The three, Jeet Kundo used to call it. And that was the first time I ever heard the word Hubert, Tumog when he was teaching me and when he taught me, he, he taught me chi sao first. And then he taught me, of course, the bong sao, lop sao drills and stuff and uh -huh. hubert and, you know, how to trap. But I could not understand that this is the only person in the world, Jesse, I'm saying on, on record today. I, I will not take the name of the people. I've played Wing Chun with a lot of guys in Hong Kong. When I go and train with my master, I've touched their hand. They've touched my hand. We have fought. But my teacher, Sifu Wong, he pops me like, like a baby left, right. Till today, you know, even if I try all my skills, I, he just moves me around like a baby. And I think it is the system we make the most amount of fun on YouTube and everywhere is Tai Chi. People make fun of it. Oh, the old man does like this, you know. And uh, if you see, I'm, I'm going to show you something and explain you. In Tai Chi, there is four moves are very common in any style. It's called Pang Li Jian. Okay. Pang means to ward off. Is it this Pang? Li means to pull. Uh, Ji means the double. This is a push. Yep. An is the double push. Okay. Uh -huh. so Pang Li Jian. If you see Hubert, it's exactly Pang Li Jian. You see the hands are like this. One up. This is Pang. And this is Jian is together. Yeah. So you can do one, yeah. two, or you can do two. But the way I do Hubert is not the classical way. I don't do it like that. I use a lot of sticking inside yeah. with Tai Chi. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what my teacher gave me. And he told me, he said, we are not grapplers. I am not into Jiu Jitsu. You know that. The only thing I've studied is uh, uh, Dumog with GT. And of course, later on, last two years, I studied with Paul Monarch and his ground fighting system yep, and stuff. Yep, yep, that yep. And stuff. Uh, I added into it, but this Tai Chi wrestling 
and tai chi chinna you know it can yeah. really off balance the guy if you really do in a modern way that is the difference like you said if if you if you stick to the old patterns the fight doesn't happen like this so when i do tai chi and i teach ji to tai chi push hands and wrestling and diffusing i always work it out from the muay thai clinch and the pummeling drills because that's what's going to happen the most and you should be up, able to apply so the drill which i feel is the most useful in tai chi is called the circling hands and the dalu the big push because you big can push. diffuse the hands it's like you know the ball moves and when you hit something and then it yeah it's going to roll off so it is something which you will see, he really worked on on this with me yeah. you know he gave me one form my teacher and he said i don't want to teach you any form but if you cannot ward off a wrestler with your tai chi wrestling then don't practice tai chi at the end of wow. the day wow so he really worked on that is something very special to him because he blends chi sao hubert and tai chi uh, push hands together and that is what i think is little unique to me there are a lot of people who practice all these three things maybe separately but the way he mixes it together that is what i think creates that magic and uh, sifu wong is always he was always against doing complex techniques you know when i came back from philippines i was little brainwashed jesse and i was like you know i'm going to do this salute and stuff yeah 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 he, he never stopped me he never stopped me jesse from going anywhere you know it's like go ahead and train you know and whenever i would do this he said okay i'm just going to punch and by the time the punch came back i just couldn't do it right because you will agree to it most of us who are into kali irrespective of any style we do very passive training with each other the guy throws a punch we keep the punch there and we let him do pop 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 but the reality is just you're going to punch me you're going to punch and pull back and by the time i'm here man yeah. it's gone back yeah that yeah. is a that is the reason i love grant to one because he is so direct boom boom with his slaps and stuff and it coincides with jeet kundo he's always into single time hit he's bam bam he's hitting it together yeah so yeah. Uh, when he taught me this uh, abecedario mano mano the full system uh, when he taught me uh, like the first two sets are the slap the two sets i did one set i did at your uh, yep, dojo yep, and yep, yep yep the 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 second and the third set which people say it doesn't have punch pgd it, it's a lot of punches so they are hammers back fist and hook punches then yep. the fifth set is the elbow sixth is the double elbow the seventh set is your the palm heel strike palm the reverse hand. Strike. palm strike yeah palm and this and then inside outside edges and stuff the then there's the finger jab yeah which is against all and then the kicking the 12 of it and then when he taught me the humpak series yeah that's when i realized man this is the most uh you know dangerous part of uh, you know pikidi is the humpak that's right which we generally ignore it so that's why you see till today he always uses a lot of slaps mm, and stuff like this yeah Damn. boom boom you know so i i love the humpak part of ptk but i always like to use ptk in the jeet kundo rhythm I love it. I love it. That is because uh, the three rhythms which my teacher taught me, especially when it comes to the attack by combination, is like one is of course it's called the broken rhythm. The yep. other one is uh, um, minus one positive two. Now these two things is something if people can understand. But that's why the Tao Jit Kundo is an amazing book. You know. Oh if yeah. Respect to any martial arts. If you read that book. you can get so much of formulas to actually apply into the fight that book is very valuable and you know what uh, speaking of uh, grant tohan he discussed and flowed with me the different types of attacks in ptk yeah. all right so that's something that i know that he hasn't taught the way he taught me yeah he hasn't taught like anybody else um but if you look at the five different ways of attack that he showed yeah. marry yeah. it up yeah. with jeet kune do with a yeah. direct attack yeah. direct single attack attack by combination yeah. attack by yeah. drawing yeah. attack by yeah. trapping and then progressive indirect attack progressive 
That's exactly how he showed me. Not your typical seguidas or contratas, but he said, yeah. Jesse, this is how you attack. Because we don't play defense. We attack. This is how you attack. I'll show you the different ways to attack. And then it's knowing... You know, it's, it's very similar, like you said, like uh, PIA, you know, like generally uh, the PIA with the first two hands, of course, I'm talking hand hands right now, there are 17 fakes in it when you study Jeet yeah. So 17 fakes uh, in PIA from both hands, rear uh -huh. and front. Yep. And if you see when he teaches with the stick, it's the same PIA. You it's the same you thing. Start. It's the same and thing. And then you take and hit. So you have the same concepts, you know. Uh, yeah. Offensa, defensa, defensa, offensa. Exactly. Exactly the same concept. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the concept of weapon contact and non-weapon contact. Marry if it you, up. If you if you see trapping is bridging, Sigidas is bridging. The gear, it's the same thing. Same. You trap, you bridge. You do Sigidas, you bridge the gap. That's right. Yeah. So. That's right. So we are in the same floor, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's what I look for, you know, in, in martial arts is how, how to marry it up and what are the like concepts with the, with yeah. the different uh, systems that's out there, you know. And, you know, I, I, I've been reading a lot, you know, since my early years, you know, and, and practice this and that, you know. I've taken Taiji, you know, and yeah. the Yang and the Chen style, you know, and, you know, I speak. I spoke to you before about South Dragon Kung Fu, very yes, inside, yes. you know, their who buds a little different because you're, you're yeah. close in versus, yeah. you know, out yeah. over, you know, so in Xing Yi and Bagua and Choi La Foot, you know, with the flow, yeah, yeah. you know, we're doing, we're good, doing around the world good, forearm bangs, you know, these are, so. these are good system, brother, you know, people make fun of it. And I think a lot of owners goes into the traditional masters because uh, they don't want to upgrade themselves in the sense like, you know, because they didn't have the punches. That's why they lose to somebody in MMA who challenges. But I'm going to take a name of my teacher. You should, you should sometimes do his interview also. He's called the Iron Bull. Uh, and he's in UK. His name is Shifu Yanzi. Okay, Shaolin Temple, UK. That okay. guy was 10 times champion in China, three times world champion. The last time he fought the fight of the legends, he defeated uh -huh. the Muay Thai legend, you know. And he's a bull man. He lifts a hundred kg kettlebell and stuff. And that guy, he it's or he he's my teacher, and, and that's where I learned most of my fighting skills in Shaolin form. It's called combat kung fu. Uh huh. He, you know, he so he so one is classical punching. The other he says combat punch. You know, he'll explain you like for example when you do the uppercut, you know, people ask where did this come from or hook punch. So this, when you do Kung Fu, you see even in Choi Li Foot. So this is, in Chinese, you call it Den Feng Gana. Mm -hmm. So if in Den Feng Gana, you remove one hand and you see, then you have the... That's what the you have. So you have this one. So that's your uppercut. And yeah. especially like, okay, you do shoulder rolls in boxing. Yep. Okay, that's from monkey style. Where you see monkey, it's always, this is the patting and monkey is always like this. The shoulder is yep. always yep. up. Always so, slipping. Uh, it's not that you fight like an animal, but you can actually move and understand why are they like, right? when you do chinna, so you praying mantis, you know, you can lock hungar, which I do a lot, you know, they have the same elbow breaking. So when they That's do right. this, yep. it's breaking of the elbow and slapping like Pikiti, you know, like a tiger claw. Yeah. So it, at the end of the day, Jesse, like you said, that it depends on the teacher, you know, if you just teach him the form, how the hell is he going to fight? And something I really loved about Paul Muraki, he's told me, he said, Kanishka, you might learn any self-defense system in the world. If you cannot kickbox, you cannot do anything because you need the rhythm. You need to be able to move, to be able to apply any technique, whether it's your pikiti or whatever. You can't yeah. just have the techniques and not be able to move. Yeah. So if you can't do kickboxing, then you can't do it. Yeah. Well, I think you need to learn all the different ranges and how to manage it. So, yeah. you know, and, and you brought up a lot of great points as far as, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, what it's called and this and that, but you, you look at the similarities and, and take the concept, like you said, the monkey style, you know, it's, it's slipping, you know, when, when you're yeah. boxing, you're slipping, it's, it's, it's monkey style, you know? So, yeah. um, 
no, there's a lot of uh, similarities to many different martial arts, you know, especially also in FMA, as you can tell, a lot of number ones are, are, are the same in every many different exactly. systems but, in FMA. But like you said, what is the difference in sports, FMA and Pikiri Tertia? It's exactly the same difference in Kung Fu. The problem is only 10% people would be seeing doing legit Kung Fu. You see today, people do cosmetic Kung Fu, Jesse. A lot yeah. of flips, a lot of beautiful poses and stuff and stuff. But the legend, you know, once my Shifu said, he said, you know, Kanishka, cosmetic modern Kung Fu is like a beautiful rose. You touch, it's break. Old Kung Fu is not beautiful. It's like a cactus. So it's like a cactus. Chinese, <laughs> yeah. He said, it's cactus. You can't hold it. You know, so he said, Shin Kung Fu is, you know, it's Taoliang. It's beautiful. New Kung Fu is beautiful. He said, Lao Chuan Tan is traditional Kung Fu. It's Bu Piaoliang, not beautiful. But Kinto Alilian is very, very powerful. It's very powerful. Yeah. No, absolutely. Speaking of you know, powerful. One last, thing, one last thing I want to say. When I was, he was teaching me uh, Dumok GT, he took me to the beach and he was making me do this. He was, you know, GT does this and bang, yeah. bang. Yeah. And then yeah. he started teaching me the breathing. I said, GT, this is from Hungar and from Shaolin. <laughs> He's like, you son of a bitch, don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know he does it in the car all the time he's yeah, there he's, like, he's like ah and then he does this you know yeah and i'm like what are you doing gt you doing kung fu this is this is from tai chi yeah it's from tai chi and yeah. he's like he's like shut up no that's up, nothing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man speaking of something beautiful brother let's look at this one all right so <laughs> i told you i've got a lot of videos of you so this is just now seven days back and yeah. I'm actually sitting in my student's house. Let me introduce you to him. He's my, uh, he's my instructor in Goa. His name is Sanjeev Jesse. Hey Sanjeev. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Are you in this video? I am actually in his house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he's there in the there video. you are he's right there. That was you. Yeah. 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 There. So right he's there. making them do. His standing. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty good. Oh, minus 60. Yeah, he hit it. Yeah. He's good. He's a good guy. Very good guy. There he is right there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're flowing here, man. You're going from Sombrada. You're going yeah. into Daku Pipunyo. Now you're into yeah. your... Yeah. Yeah. Brother, I love it, man. You, you're flowing so many different arts in just that little clip. You are flowing it's a lot, a lot of stuff. And before we get off, I'm going to show you one more, okay? Because I told you I have a lot of clips of you, man. And it wouldn't be an interview with you if I didn't show you all the clips that you have on YouTube. <laughs> Because I, I threw I thoroughly enjoy every single uh, one of them. This this is my Gurukul. Yeah. So me and Jitu, we went to the top of the cliff and above my Gurukul and then we good thing he didn't lose that stick down the down the cliff. <laughs> 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 you, you got to come to the Gurukul, Jesse. Believe me, you know. Oh, fact, I will I be you, there. You should do you know, you should do your uh, archery training. Uh, I'll discuss with you privately. You know, I'll, I'll do a seminar. Come there. I'm going to put these archery boxes and you teach people combat archery there. We will do that. We will do that. Yeah. Oh. That's what we call Patayan. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful place, man. I love training up in the mountains, in nature, you know. Yeah, this, this is the 64 I was doing with him. Yeah, no, I saw I saw your variation of that. It's very beautiful, you know. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, sixty four is. Hold on. Funny how you say that because we're gonna watch it. Okay, we're gonna watch all of it. Here we go.
There's your umbrellas. Limang Sigud. Break and break out. Seven attacks. There you go, your Orasan. Yeah, so I, I do two versions of 64. You know? Yeah, I know. I seen, I, I saw the one that you did by the beach. That was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was uh, uh, a beautiful uh, rendition of the '64. Uh, like I said, man, you are you're you are highly skilled and and just don't keep saying like that, man. Come on, you just everybody does that. Everybody knows. You know what everyone knows. <laughs> I like it when you blush like this, uh, dear brother, because you know I always give you a lot of crap because you know I, I just I just think so highly of you, you know, and, and you're just you're just such a great martial artist. But also, besides that, you're just a great guy. You know, we've spent a lot of time eating lunch, dinner, breakfast together, yeah. man. I got to know you. I got to tell everybody. I got to tell you, not only is Kanishka a great martial artist. He's even a better person in real life. All right. So he's a true gentleman. He's very smart, you know, well-spoken. And he's one of the kindest men I know in the world. So, you know, take that for what it's worth for me, you know, and I don't say that to everybody, you know, or I don't speak about to everybody. There's only a few that I say that to. So, but uh, again, you know, like when I reached out to you, I said, uh, I said, Tuan Kanishka, can I interview you for my, and you're like, the first thing you said, don't be so formal. I'm your brother. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, uh, okay. All right. And he's like, yeah, don't be so formal. Just say, say when, you know, oh, hi, kid. Oh, look at Bruce Lee. Oh, yeah. look at little Bruce Lee. Oh yeah. man. Beautiful yeah. cat. <laughs> uh, I got, I got so many clips for you, but you know, I want to ask you to say something to the people that are watching, you know, going through the warrior's journey, you know, what advice would you give these guys? You know, what could you tell these guys that are either starting or already in the middle or really got a good grasp of one or two systems? What do you say to these guys? I, I think Jesse, it's the same thing which you will tell them that uh, do martial arts for the love of it. Don't do martial arts for the heck of it. Yeah. You know, that's the yeah. number one thing, you know, and never stop For, to be a teacher. You need to be a student throughout your life. I think that is a motto of my life. And like, I know GT sometimes get pissed and you know, why are you learning that? But I told GT when I told him, I said, GT, have you heard of the art of war, Sun Tzu? He said, yeah. What? I said, so you know your enemy, then you can only make the strategy to defeat him. I said, I, I like to know other systems. Like, for example, and that is with huge respect. I really love Filmo Khan San Miguel Escrima's Pare Daga, bro. You know, because when I met the grandson of uh, Momoy, uh, Pedro uh -huh. Florence, uh -huh. and uh, he knew GT right away. He said, oh, GT stayed a lot in Philippines, in Cebu with a guy called Dadok Limchua. And Dadok uh -huh. Limchua was an uh, instructor for uh, Momoy Kaneate. And I asked GT and GT said, yes, of course, I know he was a friend of mine. Okay. And uh, then, uh, so there's a huge amount of mutual respect people have for each other. And then uh, Pento Florence showed me the method which was used by uh, Momoy. He has, and I saw so much of similarity because they have the triangle, they have the diamond, they have the San Miguel constellation and everything was like florete. But the difference in San Miguel, uh, Escrima's Pareda guys, you don't stay in that position. So once you come in, boom, boom, you go out and then you come back in again. So it's actually hitting continuously on the hand. And of course, like in PKD, you have a lot of tie up techniques in that, you know, how do you yeah. tie up the guy? But I really love the way they do the San Miguel Escrima. Not yeah. to mention, of course, I love PKD Tertia uh, method and methodology, but I felt it's different. Uh, GTs is more blade based. Okay. And uh, theirs is more stick and knife based, you know, yeah. so like, like yeah. you would say yeah. Slobe Daga and that's of course is yeah. Pare Daga, 
you know? no i so i um i was part of one of your zoom sessions when you did the you know the spade daga and that was a wonderful session yeah yeah, Guys, yeah, the I'm, yeah. yeah that's right the, the yeah. two-part series yeah so guys, I'm telling you, uh, look out, look for Tuhan on Facebook and, and, and you see one of his Zoom sessions, you have to attend because it's a wonderful session. And he's very informative. He gives you a lot. He doesn't hold back. So when you get a chance to do a Zoom session with Tuhan Kanishka, I highly recommend it. You know, I tell all my guys to always log on and when you can, because it's, some of the most valuable uh, knowledge that, that he gives you. And he doesn't hold back. Like I said, he'll give you everything as much as he can, you know, for the, the time period that you're there. So when you get an opportunity, train with but Tuan I, Shifu Kanishka. I have a question for you, Jesse. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I want, uh -oh. You, I, want to, I want you to speak with heart because, you know, people, you know, try and ignore this question. Uh, there are a lot of people in FMA, not FMA, okay, let me talk particular in Pikiri, who teaches PDK, and I see the way they teach their techniques, you know, you can't use it in fight. Very flowery, very pam, 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 you know. What do you think of that? You know, I, I don't agree with that at all, you know, but I keep my mouth shut. I want to ask you today. I'm going to put you in an odd spot. Okay. You know, uh, I feel the same way you do, brother. You know, GT, uh, I'm, I'm one of the later generations for GT and how he taught me. The way GT taught me is let's fight. Show me how you can fight. And from that, we will train how we fight, you know, so... Forget about the techniques, he says. You have to learn yeah. to finish. You have to learn how to finish. Don't do this, this, that, this, that, and take 20 minutes to try and kill someone. No, one, two, three. You got to learn how to do that efficiently all the time. So not only the techniques and the attributes, but the mentality. So yeah. for me, I have to make sure that I can uh, uh, make, our motions realistic in a fight setting and not just yeah. a flowery form setting. So yeah. and that's how GT trained me. And you know, whenever we train with GT, he wants to fight, you know, he wants to, you know, let's go, you know, or spar or, you know, so you understand um, yeah. what you're capable of and what you can do, what you cannot do. And he always tells you it's a blade. Yeah. It's not a stick. It's a blade. So you got to swing that thing like it's a blade. Imagine yeah. you you swing all that stuff and you don't even hit me and, and I hit you in the hand. It's over. You know, it, it carries through the kill. So always the blade. I always train like I fight. You know, yeah. uh, I try to be as realistic as possible. And my guys here, we we spar all the time. I mean, you know, yeah, our no, stick no. fighting Olympiads, you know, we spar all the time. So, yeah. but we train smartly. We want to dissect all our movements to make sure that we are not just doing you know, flower the stuff. Said, the, exactly the word you just now said, fight smartly. Because, uh, you know, uh, all these three teachers, uh, Sita Wong, Paul Munak, Grant Tuhan, they spoke the same language. Like, and Shifu told me that, you know, you know, Kanishka, the first thing you learn when you learn from a teacher, whether they learn from you and me is technique. Then you spend time, perfection of that technique. So you do mastery. So what is between technique and mastery is training. Okay. Mastery does not mean like, for example, okay, this is called mastery. I did it, but mastery does not mean that I can use it in a fight. Yes, yes. This is mastery. Diagonal, 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 pa, pa, pa. Okay, I, I have mastery. So then comes what GT loves saying. From mastery, there has to be functionality. That's right. You learn to function through drills. And then what I always tell my students, like you've heard me saying that, come out of that goddamn drill. Don't get stick into that drill, you know, like a you know, fool. You know, that drill is not going to happen in a fight. Then what GT says is operability. You need to learn to operate. And then comes the non-counterability, you know? Yeah. So yeah. one thing I've seen that I'm not big favor of uh, 
people doing I, I, no disrespect to anyone but this is just my view jesse is like i love these two people gt and paul gunak okay and my my sifu sita wong because all all of them like when when you know it's like imagine you and me are in the street fighting with two sticks but when we do uh, stick fighting whether it's sports irrespective of anything or we do in convention you have a headgear you got a good gloves and so many fights you be we have been in two three conventions together i have seen people who were fighting whacking each other's head bang 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 dude you know if you and me fight in a real life only the first hit will count you hit me first in the head i am down so i by the way i teach my student bros i don't do not teach them head hunting because when you hunt the head you're going to give your hand to get hit yeah i yeah. always you know i make jitu spar no helmet because i tell them i said just don't go to the head you go to the hand let him come to the head because every time you go to the head he's going to hit your hand yeah and people get so complacent with sparring with this you know that they yeah. forget they get a, they have the muscle memory of always going to the head and head. And, yeah and the head and then in a real life both of you going to get your head busted yeah if you <laughs> so well trained like like paul paul wonak when i was there he told me he said kanishka let him travel 3 feet you travel 3 inch only yep just cut him out and after you have cut him out then you can do whatever you want you pump him but do not rely on the drills for going in because it's not going to happen you have to right. cut him hit his hand first that's the yeah. first thing you need which i see a lot of people ignoring they talk about it but they ignore it when they teach the uh, students how to fight yeah yeah they put them into wild fights and they get a ego kick hey i got black and blue man that's not a good sign you got black and blue you <laughs> can get black and blue but if you are out in the street there will be only red no black and blue that's It's right <laughs> that's right yeah and some yeah, people don't like when i see this they yeah. hate me you know i completely agree with you man we train a lot of combat targeting and a lot of you know uh looking for the gifts that the your opponent give you and it's so easy because every time they extend a hand it's a gift you know so um yeah. i completely agree with you but let me tell you i'm going to share a video with you okay again again man and these are probably some of the best martial artists i've ever seen in the world here we go okay let's see we <laughs> <laughs> oh man look at you you lost so much weight bro oh i know right yes you you know you, I, you remember when you were in america i was telling man you look like a hunk man you look like a bull <laughs> and and i saw you last time when i gave you a call i spoke to you you were in the car you were so chiseled and stuff i said what's happened to you i think you were on a diet or something <laughs> oh man it's a lot of training A lot of training. And how does it feel to be a grandpa? Oh, I love being a grandpa. Oh, yeah. it's the best feeling in the world. Yes, I can imagine. She is beautiful. I am, oh, I, I love that. I, I love that sweatshirt. <laughs> oh yeah, send me one once it's open. So okay, I'm gonna send you one sweatshirt of mine. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll send you a new one for mine too. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. How are all these guys? Are they okay? Oh, they're Not great. Much. They're they're they always talk about you and miss you and can't wait for you to come back, you know? Me and Ted, uh, we just had dinner the other night and we were talking about you and you know, hopefully we can make it work again. Yeah, he's a great guy, man, you know. He, oh, he really, yeah. He really took care of me when I was uh, there in America with you, you know. He and his wife you know both of them took care of me like family and then you you know but next time definitely i'm coming to your mountain cable <laughs> oh man i tell you man i mean there's, there's i had a so lot of fun in america man oh i so love it we 
We loved having Especially the you last here. day. The last day of that crocodile barbecue. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I remember me, you, and and Michael Law What going the, there. Oh, yeah. and just, it's you know, speaking what of, I really love about you is like you've got a really good bunch of people, friends, students, so loyal to you. So... so much like family you know amazing guys uh here's your uh abecedario mano mano yeah 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 the mano mano yeah abecedario mano mano hey sikaran here yeah so you covered a lot that weekend i mean a lot these yeah. guys they were like oh my gosh how do we remember all this you said you just got to keep doing it over and over again you'll remember it you know, you know? uh thanks to you you know i i met uh, i i think it was paul the owner of the gym unfortunately yes. he passed away yes yes but that guy was, had so much spirit so much spirit yeah. when i met him yeah. unfortunate but you know the life yeah. has to go on but amazing these her wife and family they're running and yeah. moving it forward it's amazing yeah no these guys they were so happy you know there's michael law that got all the all the, the man, demo you know, I, from I you to, i have to tell you i love this man i just love michael law and i think amongst all the international friends he has been the most who has taken the beating from me <laughs> and that and you know that too out of love and respect because as i said between you me michael or anyone ted there is not a relationship between or teacher student this that we are all the same and it was just like a family and all of us were having fun coming out together to learn we said, oh my jesus christ shit <laughs> <laughs> there's one part here where you make uh, michael law scream in pain <laughs> well there was a lot of sessions but you, this one right here the leg lock yeah 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 oh look yeah. at him did you see him <laughs> he's screaming right yeah. there but so. uh, you know he's a great guy he's also become a dad i think he's become yeah he's got um he actually has uh uh three uh children now you know a boy and then two girl twins so lovely uh, yeah so he's very busy but um uh, and you know you know i love michael man he's one of my my uh, uh uh closest guy, friend you know man. so lovely guy yeah. lovely yeah. man means i have and, like we we spoke we, we spoke really uh, seldom sometimes because he's busy i'm busy but i have a so much respect and soft corner for this guy in my heart you know yeah, yeah. always welcoming respectful loving of that brotherhood no nonsense no bitching nothing Yeah. It's pure love for martial arts and for his brothers man. He's a great guy, I tell you. Yeah, he and he's Ted. also he's also a wonderful martial artist. I mean, this yeah, guy I'm, is good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. He's very, very good. good. So I'm talking about humanity part of it. He and Ted, these two guys I tell you man, I have like and big guys, they're huge guys and emotional, loving yeah. people. Yeah. And of course, Ted has been training with you for a long time. Michael is amazing martial artist himself. and no show off nothing but you know you are lucky you are blessed by god i tell you seriously you know otherwise you get really cranky students sometimes yeah I've had, <laughs> I've, in my life i've i've had four five real crank student you know yeah yeah i had to let go of them but you've been really lucky with that i tell you god. yeah i'm i'm truly blessed after, to ha have after, these guys and now i call myself blessed because after ages you see i got Johan Jitendra, Adhar, and a lot of these guys who are like my family. You know, they can enter my house any time, midnight, and then they know I'm there for them, and they're there for me. You know, so yeah. yeah. Like in Chinese, our Chinese martial arts, they say in your lifetime you get one student. You should think you're blessed. Yes, yes. Yeah. I and I am have, definitely blessed. You are. You have couple of them. <laughs> Not one. Yeah. No. We can't wait. I I I want to you know tell you that I uh, I look forward to to having you back in the USA. You know, mm -hmm. I love training with you. You know, I I 
I completely uh, tune into you when you train. You know, I, I want to drop everything, forget everything, and just want to tune into you. No, bro, you know, this time, this time we'll do, uh, last time, you know, because it was the first time, and then we did a couple of blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I think this time, uh, you know, we want to do just like full 144, stakes full 144 hands, straight. Yes. Full, full curriculum. Yeah, no, we'll do it, man. We'll do it. Yeah. Seriously. These guys are ready for it. These guys are hungry for it. And I'm telling you, these guys, they, they love you, man. They, I, they talk about you every time. And, you know, I talk to Michael Law every week. You know, uh, we do Zoom session every week. And he talks and we always bring you up every time. And um, he's like, oh, you're interviewing him tonight. And I'm like, yeah. I said, oh, man, I can't wait. You know, and Ted is like, oh, man, I can't wait to watch that. And all the other guys as well, you know, and they're like, Rich, remember Rich? You know, he's like, oh, yeah, I, I can't Rich. wait. Yeah, I remember Rich <laughs> very well, yeah. So, yeah, no, nah, you, you have a home here, uh, brother. So, you thank know. You, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, brother. But I, I just want to tell you, you know, before we close out, that I truly appreciate you spending the time with me. I don't get to see you enough in this fashion, and, and we should do this more often, you know. Yeah. Uh, I plan to have you uh, do Zoom sessions with our guys, uh, you know, as as we roll into the new year. And, you know, yeah. you, Tuhan Mick, you know, Tuhan yeah. Philip, and all these guys get back into the, the mix of, you know, training and so forth. So, seriously, thank you for coming to Tuhan. You know, I truly, truly appreciate it, brother. I mean, awesome. Coffee with Chief is now complete wait, because... Wait, wait. This is the Indian filter coffee, South Indian style. <laughs> <laughs> you see the difference in the American coffee mug and the Indian? I know, right? <laughs> and but I bet you your she, coffee tastes better than mine. Bro, I, I freaked out when I saw the size of the breakfast in America, man. I was like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> how do they eat that stuff? It's huge. And when uh, Ted was there, I said, Ted, I want to have a Chicago pizza, you know. So I ordered a pizza. And then the guy, the guy asked me, he said, you want a slice? I said, no, I want to hold the whole pizza. In India, you get pizza like this. And when the pizza came, I was like, holy Jesus Christ. And I said, Ted, how do I eat this in one week? <laughs> this big, thick, huge. I only managed to eat one slice. I know. <laughs> Well, you know, when you come back here, we're going to go back to that barbecue and get some alligator yeah, tail oh again. Brother. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that again. And then, Thank you, brother. Course, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. no, thank you very much. Guys, everybody, look up Tuan Kanishka. He has Facebook, YouTube, many different Instagram. Look him up. Get an opportunity to train with him. Train with him, all right? He does online classes. Check out his website, you know, and he's got some classes there that you could sign up for, you will not be sorry to train with Tuan Kanishka, all right? So he's probably one of the best martial artists in the world. He's a legend to me. Please. God damn it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I said so only one is... legend. You know, legends are, let's, let's give respect to legends. Dan and Asanto, Paul Munak, Rick Fay, Grant Juan Liu Guy, Nick Alizar, you know, Momoy Kenyatta. These are the people, man. You take the names. These are the guys we follow, we take their blessing, and we move forward. These are the guys who have done. Yeah. Amen, Eric brother. Paulson, Eric yep. Paulson. These are the guys who have Gracie's. These are legends. Like, yes. We are only foot followers. And I, I okay, I want to answer this. I only treat myself as I, I'm really crazy for martial arts. I sleep, eat, shit, drink, only martial arts. Now, that is what can define me, you know, my life. Yeah. That's yeah. it, you know. And it shows, brother. It shows. Like I said, I keep saying this, but you're you're one of the best. Okay. And and you, and, you and you're gonna words. have and you're gonna have to live with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Coffee with Chief. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because I will be interviewing a lot more great martial artists and, and great people. So sign up. Subscribe, share with your friends, and stay tuned for more. This is Combat with Tuan Kanishka. Out. Yes, bro.